Hey guys, Kev here, and I wanted to talk about the DC Blades Cito. So I have this, uh, these prototypes here, and uh, these are OEM'd by Megaron Knives out of China. And uh, DC Blades is a collaboration between Old Squirrel Knives and Tier 1 Gear and EDC. Sorry, Tier 1 Gear and EDC. They also have some licensed designs, at least one that I know of, which is the Scythe. This is, I believe, the XL version, if I'm not mistaken. Although it doesn't feel XL. Maybe I'm just wrong and it's like a premium version. But either way, it feels fantastic. And um, yeah, this is really good. Uh, I don't know when this is coming out or anything like that, but um, definitely check it out. The original Scythe, I believe, might be available in uh, budget format. I think they had G10 in Micarta with 14C or something like that. It was really, really nice. Um, this is fantastic. <clears throat> now, their uh, current pre-order, they have a pre-order open right now for this knife right here, the Cito. So you can get these for 160 bucks. Sorry, $195. Uh, if you want the belt satin, I think the black DLC is 185 And then you could choose a pivot collar color, blue, black, or gold. So that's pretty cool. And then you can also buy it in a set for $350. Um, so that'll save you a few bones right there. And um, yeah, this is an interesting model for me. It's, um, it's a unique design. I, I, like the, um, I like the aesthetic of it. Um, ergonomically, it does actually fit my hand pretty well, even though it almost feels like it doesn't. It's, a, it's an odd case there. But I have a large glove size hand, and this pinky right here is what locks you in. It keeps you, you get the full grip. It just feels a little different than I'm used to because that pinky's up here on the back. But it does fit the hand. And you do have a uh, choil or a flipper here, so you can't really choke up on that. Um, you have a flipper tab, a really big flipper tab, and uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, and then you have the uh, fuller there as well. I do think the detent could be just a little stronger on these, um, but they are good. They're definitely good. Megaron does a good job. The, uh, the blast on the titanium looks great. That milling pattern looks great. The hollow grind is nice on these. And then you have that uh, flat up at the front. I'm pretty sure it's a hollow. Feels like one anyway. You have jimping up here. You have a nice little uh, detail there on the backspacer. Here's your clip. Pretty straightforward. Not much ramp on that clip. Um, you know, so when you're getting it in the pocket, you just want to make sure that you have the clip kind of angle. You just want to go like straight in, but it is a bit tight, not my favorite clip, because what happens with this type of clip is you don't have all that much ramp, so you have to try to go in straight, and it ends up feeling really tight. So what you want to do is relieve a little tension, and you end up with a tapper. Um, it's hard to get a good middle ground with a clip design like this. So this is a prototype, so maybe they could just add a little bit of a lip there. I think there was some paperwork with these. Um, I really should have read that. I just haven't had a second. Um, the action's really good. Again, very cool, very unique design. Um, I dig it quite a bit. I love these little bolster collars here. Uh, they look very cool as well. Uh, let's actually grab this paperwork because I don't think I checked it um, when I did the unboxing. So here we go. So they're increasing the clip height. There you go. Uh, better internal milling on inlay for lock bar clearance. Uh, handle finish will be lightened for better wear. Snail trail resistance. Oh, well, I personally would prefer it to stay this way because it looks amazing. I love that sort of dark blast look, um, CRK, Jack Wolf style look. So um, I would prefer to have it be the same, but that's fine. Uh, I don't know what they're doing with the uh, pivot, if they're leaving it black like that or if they're leaving the logo. So I would like it like this. I'm not a fan of how that logo looks. 
on there. Uh, 4.73 ounces, two blade finishes. We looked at that. Three pivot collars. Um, let's see. <clears throat> There's a few changes. Pre-order is currently live on our website, dcblades.net. There you go. Um, this is their first design to launch under their newly formed DC banner. So there you go. Um... The Scythe is a, a licensed design that they licensed to Shielden. So, yeah, um, I think I think it's a solid offering. Um, I think the ergonomics are unique. Yet, well, I don't know if they're unique, but they're uh, for me they are. It's not it's not a style I'm usually into. I do know that Tier One is more into tactical knives. And I think old squirrel knives as well. So they always have that kind of um, in mind with their designs, which is cool because that's not something I usually, you know, gear towards. So it's cool to um, check stuff out like that. There is a, a um, detent ramp on these that I don't think is necessary, um, at least not as big of one, because what happens there happens where you go like this and then it pops back up because you don't clear it. But it's interesting because on this one, I feel like it just, yeah, yeah. So I think this one just uh, isn't quite as dialed as this one is. You see that? It hits right there, but it's past that ramp. So it just glides down. This one, I feel like I'm having issues where it's not clearing the ramp. I don't know why it would be different, but it could be a slight difference in the ramp there. I don't know. Interesting. Um, but yeah, very cool. Uh, again, that pre-order is up right now if you guys want to check it out. Um, and I, you know, I don't have much more to say about it. I think it's a cool design. And, um, you know, Megaron seems like they're doing good work. And um, I hope they come out really well for everybody. Um, we have yet to really see somebody do a run with Megaron that I know of um, like this. So it's cool that they're doing that. And, um, I mean, $185, and you're getting titanium and M390 on these. So, I, that's pretty hard to beat, you know. Um, so, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, check out Tier 1 Gear and EDC Reviews. Check out Old Squirrel Knives. And check out DCBlades.net for the pre-order on this guy. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.